Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on how I curl my the twist out crochet unit which was requested. And before we get started, we're going to use the some kinky hair, pink moisturizer, any burn of your choice, the mousse, any burn of your choice, we're using the smooth and shine here. And a paddle brush, depending upon what you use to comb out, you know, kinky hair. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna take the hair that I just showed in the previous clip, and we're going to wrap it around the hair that's attached to the net. Now, you wanna make sure that the hair doesn't slide down the hair, so you wanna secure it, and I apologize that you can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm just basically wrapping it around the hair that's attached to the crochet unit. You do not have to start at the top or at the very top or the base of the hair unless you really want to depend upon what look you are going for so this is the look i was going for so i didn't you know it wasn't necessary for me to start at the very top or the base of the hair so you're going to twist the hair like you're twisting your own hair okay so i'm showing you the piece left out and that's the piece that i added to the unit And the piece that I'm tugging on is the hair that is attached to the crochet unit. Now I'm going to pull the hair up, the other hair that was added. Now I'm a little stuck. I like to leave the, the you know, the mistakes in because it's not all pieces and cream. So when that happens, you want to twist the opposite way that you twisted the hair. So it can loosen because you probably twisted a little bit too tight. And now you can pull it up, the hair that was added. Okay. So this is the hair that was added, as you guys can see. And there was some excess hair left over after I pulled the hair up. So you're just gonna twist again like you're twisting your own hair. And then after that, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna pull the hair up, the hair that was added to the crochet hair unit. Okay, now you are at the end and you are about to tie a knot so you can secure what you just did so you can get this curl. Now you're going to make a knot, just a, a simple knot that you like you're tying your, you're not knotting your shoe or making a knot in something. And you're going to make this knot so you can secure this. Okay, you don't want it to unravel because you don't want to start all over again. And that has happened to me. So just make sure that you tie it close to it okay and if you're really not sure you are going to tie another knot so you can double knot it just to be on the safe side because again you do not want to sit here and get frustrated and then get mad and give up and then that's the end of that so just secure it twice if you want to go ahead and do three times you can but i don't think it's necessary all right and this is how it's supposed to look now you're going to take some scissors any type of scissors cut the hair that was added and this is how the hair this is how it's supposed to look after you're finished all right so we're going to add the products i didn't show in the beginning but i did add products to it and it's the products that i talked about in the beginning of the video now you don't really need to use any products unless you really want to and if you don't have these products that's fine you can use whatever you have in the house some type of oil or something like that but you don't have to od on the product all right so here we go we're going to add the hair again and we're going to twist it around like we're twisting our own hair and again, I apologize if you can't really see how I'm twisting on the other side or how the other hair is holding, but I really apologize about that. You just want to make sure the hair is held on the other side so that you can twist and so the hair won't slide down. And again, you are twisting the hair down all the way down the hair. And here is the clip. Here is the, the hair. And you're going to do the same thing that was done in the previous clip. And you're going to take the hair and you're going to pull it up the hair that was added to the crochet unit. Now I got stuck again. <laughs> so I have to untwist a little bit. 
and push up and there we go okay so when you get stuck just don't fret just you know go the other you know twist the other way and then you should be fine don't do not start over okay because you will be on this wig for a good month okay and you will get frustrated and you don't want that you want to enjoy making a wig okay <laughs> Okay, we're at the end of the road again. This is the excess hair that you added to the crochet unit. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a knot to secure it. And in this clip, I also make two knots as well because I wanna make sure that it does not unravel because that has happened to me. So you wanna make sure that what you just made is secure. You don't want anything happening to this, okay? This is what it is, all right? And this is what it looks like. And you're going to do another one just to be on the safe side. All right. If you just want to do two knots anyway, even though you think it's secure, go on ahead. This is the excess hair. You're going to cut. And that's it. That's what it's supposed to look like. All right, you guys. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell and everything else. Hopefully you guys understand how to you know you get the gist of how to do this and if you have any additional questions you could definitely um ask me at marquee1970gmail.com i would like to thank beauty kim braid for inspiring me to do this because this was very very helpful and this is very great especially if you do not have um any you know curlers or anything like that and this is very very inexpensive and this is some hair that i the, the hair the excess hair that i had you know added to the hair is just some hair that i had laying around that i didn't like to use you know for you know for a crochet unit so i decide to use it you know for this so just you know use some hair that you're not very fond of and use it to um to help you with the curl for your unit okay and that's basically it you guys so i hope you enjoy the rest of the video and thank you to whomever that requested it i really thank you for that and that's basically it you guys so if you have any questions comments, concerns please don't ask ask comments below in the inbox or it's on rakeen nice and i'll come and i'll back to you and i'm sorry i didn't show the results of how to take the hair down because i accidentally um i accidentally erase the film footage and i know i record it but once i record another thing i will um let you guys know and i will come back with a little clip so you guys can see how i separate it and things of that nature but that's basically it you guys all right so thank you guys for watching peace